Okay, so make sure that I'm in the wall layer. And I can just turn the dimension off. If this is all done correctly, when I turn the layer off, everything in that layer should disappear. So there's no dimensions, so that's good. Now I'm going to go ahead to draw a multi-line, and it's going to default to the one we made. And I'm just going to go inside of that line and click it and drag it to the very top, and then just go all the way over. But I'm going to stop at where the door was, a foot down, and push Enter. And then I'm going to uh, do the same thing all over again. All right, you can see where that door is right there. So I'm going to move that line. Okay, so let's go ahead then and go draw multi-line. And I'm just going to skip where that door is. And then come down. And then come over to where the other door is in that break. And then go ahead and push enter and escape. And I'll do finish this off. I'll go multi-line. And you want to make sure that it is staying within the line. And go ahead and push enter. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the wall doesn't automatically um, create a gap there. So let's go ahead and, and just confirm all this before I get too carried away here. So I'm going to turn my dimensions on. Um, and I, if I'm going to add dimensions, I'll check the box. Um, all right, let's confirm everything here. All right, so... All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just, just make that door there. You also notice that in in the the... Uh, image that I'm using, I want to rotate this. So I type in rotate, I select the, the point that I want to rotate, and I can just freehand this, or you can type in uh, 30 degrees and play around with those things. And while I'm at it, I can just go ahead and eyeball this, um, which is representing the, the swing path of the door, and I want to make this so that it's actually um, part of a circle. All right, so far so good. All right, so let's look at that, that area. So what I want to do is go to Modify and go Object, and you'll see something that says Multi-Line. And I want to identify what I need, and this one is a corner joint. So go ahead and press one wall, and then select the other, and that should disappear. All right, and I recentered it just clicking the top menu. All right, so now what I need to do is figure out where this wall is. It's 12 feet up. Um, 12 feet 10 inches and 10 feet 7 inches over. So let's make sure that we're, we're going to go ahead and, and use the uh, zero. So I'm just going to build an outline of this, a construction line, so to speak. I'll go to the inner corner and then I'm going to go up and point my mouse up and type in 12 foot dash 10, push enter, and then move it to the right uh, perpendicular and type in 10 feet dash 7 or 10 feet 7, push enter. And then I'm only going to go up one foot one inches or 13 inches. So one foot one inch, push enter, and then hit escape. Or let's go ahead and make this door. It's two feet eight inches. So let's type in two feet eight inches. And then we don't need to figure the rest out. We can just go ahead straight up and snap it to that wall and then push escape. All right. So let's just confirm that. So it's not a bad idea to dimension this as you're going along. Um, just to confirm what you're doing. So if I'm going to do that, I would do the dimension. But let's go ahead and do the wall. So let's make sure that we'll actually we'll do, we'll do, do the dimension first. All right, so that's where I'm in. I'll go up to the dimension on the menu on the ribbon above. And let's go ahead and dimension this. And I'm going to try to do my best to mimic what the drawing is. No sense doing it later if I can do it now. So 10 feet 7, so so far so good. And that's the uh, going to be the uh, interior of the wall. And now that's where the door is. And so let's go to the multi-line. And you'll notice, though, that it's actually falling on the opposite side of the, the line. But that's okay. So what we do is we select the wall, and then in our properties, 
you'll see that I can change the justification. And then in this case, we want to do bottom. Um, and so that's not a big deal. And then we want to go ahead and make this gap here. So I'll go to Modify, Object, Multi-Line. And this is going to be an open T. So select the walls. And it should go ahead and have a break there. And so let's go ahead and finish this wall off. All right, and you'll notice again, it's on the wrong side, no big deal, push escape properties. And then let's change this from top to bottom and that'll go on the justification will be different. All right. All right, so we also need to dimension this, um, but let's make sure that it's on the wall layer because right now it's in dimension, so I can go in the properties and just select the wall and that will move it over there. And then we want to fix this T up here. So object, multi-line. And I think you guys should hopefully be getting the hang of this now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off with uh, adding the dimension, but I, I, you should have enough information here and you should be in good shape to finish this floor plan in AutoCAD.